Husker Nation, uh, Coach Bolt here. Uh, I've got Dylan Carey with me today. Uh, we're going to break down a few plays for you. Uh, had a nice weekend down in Phoenix against Grand Canyon. Uh, I'm going to talk a little baseball with you today. All right, this first play here, uh, it's the fourth inning. We've been through the lineup once before. Um, we've got a preseason All-American on the mound that we're facing. He's got really good stuff. Riley Silva got on base here uh, to lead off the inning, and we get ourselves in a 1-0 count, and Dylan's ready for it. Uh, maybe speak a little bit about the stuff that you saw the first time and the adjustments you made the second time. Yeah, first time he, he had us through the lineup. Um, I don't think we had any hits going into this fourth inning here, and then we finally got through the order, and we were able to jump on the fastball because we had uh, been through the order, received the fastball, uh, able to adjust. Um, so got a, what was the count here? 1-0. 1-0? Yep. He reset it. Yeah, 1-0. Uh, I think he started fastball in, took it for a ball, um, and then just hunting fastball, and I was able to jump on it here uh, because I was expecting it. You know, our approach is hunting the fastball away, so I was able to see it middle-middle and hit in the gap, score rally from first, and, you know, he's got speed, so he's able to score, get ahead 1-0 early on. See, so does Nebraska bunt up people up? Nope. That ball's hit into the gap. And it's going to go through and score a run. Racing around third base and coming home. Standing is Silva, 1-0 Huskers. Hey, you're not going to bunt your three-hole hitter. He laces that one into the gap. And an easy run around, stroll around the bases for Silva. And, uh... Here we go. This is uh, Sunday's game. And, and Dylan, uh, is, there's two outs, nobody on base. And... You know, Dylan's in the three hole uh, for us for a reason, uh, you know, this year. And it, a lot of that is just, you know, if you don't have anything cooking early in the game, um, you know, the three hole hitter is going to set the tone for the approach in the game and obviously has a chance to, to get an extra base hit to start a rally. Um, and that's what we did in this game here. First two guys got out. Uh, Dylan comes up. Looks like it's going to be three up, three down, potentially a quick inning. And then and, and Dylan comes up and, and hits a double. Gets himself in scoring position. Josh Karen swinging a hot bat, uh, you know, th this weekend, and gets a big two out RBI. That's a backbreaker for for the other team when you're able to do that. And Dylan, you know, kind of a jack of all trades. We're hitting him in a three hole. He can lay down a bunt. Um, he can hit the ball out of the park. Um, he can drive the baseball. Um, you know, he can do a little bit of everything for our offense, and that's what we're looking for in that three hole. Is just just setting the tone early in the game and. Uh, Obviously, the first two guys don't necessarily get it done, and then we're looking for that three-hole hitter to, to do the job for us. Yeah, this one, I mean, we had two outs already, and, you know, 2-1 count, was able to get up in the count. Again, hunting the fastball, ahead uh, in the count. Um, hit a double, uh, got to second. Josh Karen, uh, like Coach said, swinging a hot bat. And we've actually done this uh, earlier this year in Texas where we had two outs, hit a double. Josh Karen faced it up the middle, so it isn't something that uh, hasn't happened before, so... It was just a, a big opportunity for us again, the first inning in this game, um, get ahead early on these guys. So it was big. What you see here is obviously we're aggressive with two outs. I mean, Coach Harbell at third base is going to be super aggressive with two outs. Dylan's got a big lead out at second base. He's ready to move on contact. And, and what Karen is taught to do uh, on this play is we're, we would trade his out on the bases for us to score a run. That throw ended up going all the way to the plate. Karen's able to get to second base, so he's now in scoring position as well. So on this guy, we were playing a lefty. So we had a little bit of a shift. So Brum, our second base, and he was playing over, and I was shifted more up the middle. So the ball was literally hit right in between us. And you see, oh, you want to hit that, Coach? You see, we literally almost run into each other, which is something we're working on uh, because we've had it twice uh, this year. But, um, you know, I was able to get the ball. We didn't, you know, collide uh, right on, so I was able to spin around and make the throw. But um, got the guy out in a... Uh, eight to one game, so it wasn't a huge priority to get that that guy at second base because we had the lead. Um, but yeah, it was a big opportunity there to to get that guy out. Um, 
and I think we got out of it with no runs there, um, ultimately. But yeah, and that's kind of one of those plays where you know it's it's basically hit right in between the shift. I mean, we've got Brumball's shaded a little bit over the pull side. Dylan is to the middle, but it's on the second base side of the bag. So um, what we always teach is it's a, it's a much easier play for Dylan. He's coming across the bag. Um, his momentum's going more towards first base than Brumball's would be. Um, and like I said, this play happened. We talked about it. Um, it was late in the Texas Tech game, I think it was, where Dylan probably should have called him off and made the play um, or given himself a chance to make the play. He does it here. Again, this is a big spot in the game. I mean, this ball trickles through um, or we don't get a we don't get an out there. They got two guys on. Um, obviously, they ended up making a run in this game anyway, but this, this was a big out um, and, and, a, and a really nice play by Dylan here. If we have enough data on a guy, um, we feel like we'll we'll go ahead and use the shift if need be. Um, we've got cards this year. It's kind of a change that we've made. We, we've got positioning cards for the infielders and outfielders. Uh, so they have it in their back pocket. It, it's basically labeled one, two, three, or four. One would be straight up. Two would be a little bit more to the pull side. Uh, three would be pretty much uh, shift. And four would be, I mean, we would pretty much take it all the way away from them on the pull side. So... Um, they, they have those, those cards in their pocket, and then they're also looking in the dugout um, in between pitches to see if Coach Sirianni uh, wants to move them. Tuesday, ground ball up the middle behind second, and it goes into the glove of the shortstop. Covering behind second base, Barreras robbed that time. Carey and Brumbaugh both going for the ball. Carey ends up with it makes a good throw to first base everybody's most exciting play here the, the steal of home dylan kind of walk through uh the circumstance here in this game yeah i'll kind of let it play out here and then i'll break it down here but big opportunity late in the game yeah so what coach uh coach harvell was talking about at, at third base so right before this there was a pass ball uh caden brumball scored got us ahead nine to eight and that was huge for us going into the top of the eighth here, but uh, he said, "Hey, look, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta score here. You know, two runs better than one run lead." So I get to third. He's like, "Hey, third base is playing over. We got Tyler Stone up. He's a lefty. So if you want to go back, you can see where that third base is at. Really on. Yeah. So this guy, he's all the way over here. So I was able to get way." way out here without uh, having to be concerned about him. And he's also saying, like, hey, check out the catcher. He's lobbing the back. He's not checking you out. Uh, we're going to be aggressive here. So, you know, once you once you see an opening, once he looks at you, turns, launches it to the pitcher, take off. So that's kind of what happened here. So he throws it, checks me out, turns, throws, take off. And this is this is obviously a high risk, high reward type play, but we're willing to take that risk in this situation. Um, Stoney had two strikes on him. Um, I was just looking to try to steal that run. We know that's a big momentum shift for us as well if we make this play. And um, something that we've done before, uh, Bryce Matthews still home, I think, as a as a true freshman in a very similar type situation to kind of extend a lead. Um, this is something the conversation that's had quite often, honestly, with Coach Harvell and the guys at third base is like, hey, let's let's look to take this if it's there. Um, it takes, you know, Dylan being bold. We always say fortune favors the bold. And, um, you know, he, he got down the line there. And, and uh, again, you see the play, a, a good throw is probably out, but that's that's a risk that we're willing to take right there because it's a, it's a play that the pitcher is not used to, to making. He's got to come off the bound, kind of a, a quick throw to the plate. Um, the catcher was caught off guard a little bit and probably prefer to see Dylan slide feet first into home plate right there. Um, but, hey, he, he made it to the plate. The thing that... That I was really, um, it was pretty awesome to see. Again, the momentum, just look how fired up Dylan is as he comes in and everybody in the dugout is kind of feeding off that. And um, Dylan's, you know, one of our vocal guys, one of our leaders. And so when he it shows some boldness to make a play, to play to win, the rest of the team uh, just gets that much more confidence. Well, we just mentioned the pressure on the catcher when you have... Runner at third base. And the Lopes go back behind. The runner coming to the plate to try to score. The Lopes have him. 
But the throw from Triplett back to Geiselman goes off the glove of the catcher. And another run scores. That's just Carey taking advantage of some casual play on the infield by GCU. Yeah, appreciate you being with us uh, for this breakdown uh, at Grand Canyon uh, series win. And we'll be uh, on the road again this week, headed to College of Charleston. Team that's 7-0, and another really good opponent. Uh, I'm going to have our hands full this week. And then uh, we'll be back at home uh, next week against uh, South Alabama for a home opener. Uh, hope to see you guys all out there uh, cheering us on.